Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Astartes Anonymous podcast. Today, we'll be going over the pros and cons of each Chaos God and worshipping them. However, once more, our local Nurgle worshipper is preoccupied and will be missing this episode. So, without further ado, I have once again been trapped in a room with a Swedish kin of the Votan and an American <coughs> with more than a passive interest in Bionicle and Transformers. I'm your host, Tom, <laughs> and these are my co-hosts. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Lucas, or better known as Moots, and I am the bigger Bionicle fans. Hello, I am Red, and I will actually just skin the Swedish one. <laughs> That's excellent. Wonderful. You're going to have to get past my fucking army of Bionicles first. I'm just my going fucking... to fucking shoot you. What are you talking about? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> You're no match for my bionicle toys. Yeah, but a 45 caliber bullet is. Get shot, you short bastard. Not even Matanui can save me from this. <laughs> Could Matanui survive the force of a 45 caliber 1911? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would be in on the joke, but I I don't actually know an awful lot about bionicles. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have to teach you. Yeah, or get shot by the forty five caliber. You know, I, I I watched the Mask of Light like on repeat a couple thousand times when I was a kid, but like outside of that Same. movie, I can't actually tell you a lot. You you did disgrace. <laughs> I'm sorry, Red. All right, bionicle podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> Next week we're becoming a bionicle podcast. <laughs> we're leaving Warhammer lore behind. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. We're going to actually go. We're gonna we're gonna return to Warhammer World, but this time we're gonna play Imperial Knights, but using all Bionicles. <laughs> <laughs> They're about the size of Armigas, aren't they? To be fair, if I recall correctly, kind of some of them. Hmm. I I haven't looked at uh, my Bionicles in a in fucking years, so maybe maybe I'll have to take a look. Co Bionicle collection uh, walkthrough. When, <laughs> if, if anyone ha if anyone has Bionicles that would they would like to send to us, uh, just I don't know, <laughs> comment down below and we'll get back to you on that. And that would be wonderful. Don't don't even give just just send me your address. I'll show up in like a week. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you the time. That's part of the fun. <laughs> uh. Anyways, gentlemen. Let's move on, shall we? Yes, yes. Let's go on to the, the inferior subject of the week. from Bionicles. Sp that is, <laughs> none of these, none of these, mo these models of the week, well done by talented people, are not Bionicles. <laughs> That's a fun kitbash no. competition idea. See how many Bionicles bits you can use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, but so speaking now, I'm going to do one hell of a uh, connection here. But so speaking of Bionicles, we have uh, the the model here by Nexotron, who he has named not after the Danish uh, name for the Reaper, but the Swedish name for the Reaper. So close enough. Uh, the Lidemannen, uh, which probably sounds <laughs> weird to anyone who doesn't speak Swedish. I'm going to need a spelling for that. Ah, uh, no, it's way funnier to let you f try and figure that out yourself. <laughs> there are four. Th there are four Q's and five eyes. Uh, uh, well, I've, I've, you're underestimating the amount of Q's and eyes there. <laughs> Your language is bullshit. Yeah, we. Uh, it's totally made up. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, wonderful fucking piece of green stuff and uh, kit bashing here honestly it's uh i really like i mean how just balls to the wall busy it is because yeah. even though yeah. there's like 14 different kits in this thing it's they <laughs> they're so put together it seamlessly looks really cool and no small amount of sculpting either uh really well done sculpting at that especially around the scythe yeah this for is sure it definitely has it was gonna have a presence on the tabletop. I love the big hourglass he just has. <laughs> he uh yeah, no, wonderful job. And um moving on from that we have our Mr. Bones uh spooky scary Emperor's Champion Legion of the Damned. Very nice. So uh, it's supposed God to be damn. Legion of the Damned Sigismund. Oh, oh. That is even fucking better. That uh, I fucking approve. 
it, uh, it looks really. It, we have uh, Moots's <laughs> approval here. <laughs> yeah, Bones yeah, can yeah. carry on with the Bones. If you're listening, you can carry on with the project. Moots approves. Yep. You you have my approval. That is all you need in life. Nothing else. Nothing more. I can't wait to see uh, him paint this thing. Honestly, it's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Same. The, the fucking green job on this fucking. Yeah, the green stuff, uh, the work on the green stuff. Uh, I think I had a structure for a second. I uh, like making the flames. <laughs> that looks absolutely fucking wonderful. It does. It does. It looks really, really cool. I think uh, I've seen Bones' painting, and he's no slouch when it comes to painting either. So this is going to be a very special model when he gets around to painting it. Definitely. It's uh, It's been super fun seeing him do the, uh, uh, the storm engine and... Uh, uh, is it Nexotron's uh, oh, custom chapter? I'm not sure. It's a red chapter. I know that. Yeah. yeah. We'll, put, we'll flash them on the screen real quick now as well. They're really cool. Just for cool. half a second. Like, blink and you'll miss it. <laughs> like, it just happened. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyways, Red, I think you've got something you'd like to show the audience. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, again, from Nexatron, who is the only active member of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it came from a conversation we had uh, one night where um, this is uh, our alternative <laughs> our alternative 30k <laughs> horse heresy called the Bony in Trouble. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. As you, as you can see... Bones, who is another very active member, is playing the role of Horus, or as we've been calling him, Bonerus. Bonerus. <laughs> this fight does not take place in the ventral spirit. Instead, it is inside a Waffle House. Oh, of course. Of course. And it is a duel between Bones, who has rebelled against me, as I am the Emperor. I am both the Emperor and Conrad Kurz, because I am schizophrenic. <laughs> We can see, uh, we can see on uh, Night Lord Conrad Kerr's Emperor of Mankind's shoulder is sat Talos once again making an appearance in one of our videos. <laughs> let's not let's take away from the live next reaction. <laughs> that is that is the most cursed fucking Logar face I've ever seen. It it, it is. It, 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 this isn't actually, this is a pick feed of uh, the, the Lorgar Nexus YouTube channel <laughs> reacting to the final battle within the Waffle House. <laughs> Dying on the ground, we have our resident Brazilian Keter, who was killed, <laughs> attempting to take oh, out Jesus the Bone Christ. Master. <laughs> In the back, you could probably see Con Steph. Uh, she is another really uh, uh, great member of the server who would made that Talos art we showed once. Uh, she she couldn't decide what what um what side she's on, but she she showed up just to try and stop the bullshit that was happening. Understandable. Who's that at the bottom right? That's uh, Lady. Late, Lady, <laughs> our little ultramarine. Yes, <laughs> the, the ultramarine <laughs> apologizer. <laughs> The headcan is that this was caused because uh, Bones was covering for something that Leite fucked up with. <laughs> and then Lorgar told the Red Emperor, and then now I have to kill Bones out of a misunderstanding, and Leite is trying to accuse Bones as well. It's, it's just a mess. The Red Emperor, who is blue. Huh? <laughs> Listen, we're, we're not going to work on semantics, right? This is an epic battle. Keter's oh. fucking dead on the ground there. <laughs> Maybe we should consider changing Red's avatar to the Emperor of Mankind, but as a Night Lord. <laughs> oh god, does that mean I'm gonna have to redraw him? God damn it. Yes, entirely. <laughs> It'll be a lot more work as well. He's much bigger. <laughs> yeah, just it take the just you don't see my head, it's just the torso. So fucking tall. <laughs> or or we'll just have you like crouching. <laughs> Truly wonderful. Turn my volume up to max. Uh, Just shouting constantly. Sorry, who made this again, Red? Uh, it was a combined effort. Bone started it, but he quickly realized that the program he was using was terrible, so <laughs> Nextrin finished it, and he is currently adding more to it, and we will be adding more to it, and we will be giving everyone updates, whether you want it, want them or not. Oh, hell yeah. The battle for the Ventral Waffle House is eternal. Uh, look, look forward to that next episode, everyone. Uh, this is going to be one of those... Uh, fucking 
General Grievous gets a new lightsaber every week situations, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, I'm going to force Tom to put a, a link to uh, to this photo. So if you want to grab it and edit it yourself and send it to us, more than welcome. Really, I'm just going to put just... a fucking Imgur link in the fucking uh, description. <laughs> for this. Yeah, and feel free. Anyone who's half competent with Photoshop, add add to your add to the canon of the Bony and Trouble. <laughs> this is very cursed. <laughs> But thank you, you. We we will inform everyone of your crimes. I, I am a, I am a huge AU uh, aficionado, so enjoyer. So I will definitely make my own additions to this. Oh, wonderful! I cannot <laughs> wait to see what mental hemorrhaging I receive from this. Uh, right, so gentlemen, we have uh, we have an interesting episode today. There, we wanted to go over the pros and cons of each Chaos God and the pros and cons of, of worshipping said Chaos God and everything sort of in between and outside. And so I wanted to start this episode with Nurgle. Nurgle. Shall we start with the pros of Nurgle? Uh, of pros. Um, I don't know. You, you can get shot and not fall over. <laughs> you don't have to shower. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a pro, honestly. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> you, well, for, I, a, for, more for apt, you. a more apt <laughs> would be you lose your sense of smell and yeah. and your sense of everything else, and you just become kind of numb to the world around you. You can go to a Magic the Gathering tournament and not feel feel too bad about it. <laughs> so like, if you're depressed, Nurgle just makes everything feel numb. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Exactly. No, yeah. so I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's necessarily a pro. Or well, I mean it sure is a pro for you. Thanks, man. I mean I'm not sure Cheers, it's a pro, pro for anyone else. I appreciate that. <laughs> it depends on where you stand on showers, honestly. <laughs> it's a defense. Well, I, on, I on that point, it's also worth saying more importantly, you don't have to wipe your ass. <laughs> I think this tells a whole lot about you. You don't need here, to wipe. Tom. Tom. You don't need to wipe anymore. No, that's you don't need not... to wipe. Uh, do you find it difficult to wipe your own ass? Do you wish of a world where you did not have to, where that wasn't an option? I'm just saying you don't have to wipe anymore. I, I suppose. I suppose just all sensation goes away too. So pain, yeah. pain, that's a pro. No more pain. No more ass wiping, just just <laughs> stench and I don't know emptiness. I suppose all. I mean, to take it to a somewhat deep place, all societal standards of beauty go out the window as well. No one's ugly because everyone's ugly. You know. You know what? You know what? That's fucking beautiful. I like that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> You don't. No, <laughs> no I, I think this is in, in, innately just horrible. Well, if everyone's beautiful, or sorry, if no one's ugly and no one's beautiful, certainly you could make a decent argument that worshipping Nurgle is taking a really grand step towards, you know, equality. You know, no one's wiping their ass, no one's showering, no one's ugly. <laughs> this, this is Tom's. Everyone's equal. <laughs> It's basically, it's basically a utopian society, you know. What's the issue, guys? It, it's basically utopian society. I mean, okay, sure, nobody dies. Every, everyone's a fucking, everyone's a happy. I guess you get free vaccinations. They are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or well, technically you get every plague imaginable. So, but you, you're you don't necessarily you don't feel the effects of them. So, yeah. <laughs> is is it really immunity if you don't feel the symptoms? <laughs> well, that's it. You know, listen. It sounds to me like worshiping Nurgle cannot be a bad time if Nurgle likes you. And I think that leads nicely into the cons of Nurgle, because there is one con that I can think about immediately. Literally everything you just said is also a con. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, you're bloated, you yep. have no true sentience anymore. Yep. 
you you stink to everyone around you. Yep. You shit yourself on the regular. <laughs> yep. I'm sure people do that today, but like they don't get superpowers from it. Only in Florida. <laughs> I think one of the worst cons for worshipping Nurgle or, or meeting Nurgle or anything like that that I know about is uh, an excerpt from a, a certain Warhammer book that I, there's no chance I'll remember describing a guardsman that attempted to worship Nurgle at the last minute to save himself. Mm. And Nurgle was like, yeah, okay, bro, you can have, you can have some of the Nurgleness. And that guardsman was doomed to an eternity of decay it being decaying and then being reborn and then decaying again like in seconds all his skin sloughing off then coming back and sloughing off again and just being in this perpetual hellscape for all eternity hell yeah nice that the seems European like a pretty experience. big con <laughs> that, that yeah yeah I agree and uh, back on the subject of uh, Florida I'm, I'm pretty sure they are already living your version of Utopia Tom that that is Nurgleville. <laughs> oh, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they've got crocodiles, and I'm kind of scared. Oh, no, they've got alligators, and I'm kind of scared of alligators. Quick sidestep. Could an alligator death roll a, a plague marine? <laughs> uh, in this theoretical scenario, has the alligator gripped the plague marine somewhere good? Like the it's hand an alligator. If, if 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 it got a grip, it's a good grip. It's a fucking alligator. I would say yes. Um. I can't imagine it'll do it that successfully because a plague marine is kind of fucking huge. Have you seen the Florida alligators? All right, I'm, I have. All right, I'm going to force Moots no. to draw uh, Aaron getting death rolled by an alligator now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus well, Christ! Let's add let's add another layer of bullshit to this, shall we? Mm -hmm. Let's say the alligator is possessed by one of Nurgle's biggest rivals, Corn. Now the alligator versus the plague marine. My money's on the alligator every time. A cornate alligator that would be fucking cornate. unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. It's this, I'm pretty sure there's an SCP for that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just replace all the blood blood uh, bloodhounds or corn dogs or the fuck those things are called corn with alligators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where 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 is my where is the homebrew chaos war band where the <laughs> the chaos lord rides on a coronate alligator? Come on, <laughs> stop choosing cats and dogs and stuff. There are other animals to choose from. Alligator time. Let's go. Uh, I I know there is already corn marines uh, STL files. If you want to 3D print those, <laughs> imagine corn possessing that fucking mega gator thing from Necromunda. Oh damn! You know the one I'm talking. The one that's already the size of a fucking large buffalo. It's you crazy, know? Yeah. No, it's not even a mega gator. It's just an a literal <laughs> alligator. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you. Florida I don't think you play. understand how big <laughs> alligators can get. <laughs> uh, I've I've never seen an alligator. I, I I read something about alligators like. Um, some alligators easily surpassing like 15 feet or something like that. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. We don't have alligators in the UK. We've just got, um, we've just got farmers. Look, well, the alligators have, roll, yeah. have not evolved for like thousands of years. They hit their point and God went, yeah, you're already perfect. And that's just how they stayed. All right. These fucking things survived extinction level events. Didn't they uncover fossils and bones for alligators that were like the size of of buses. Well, fucking put this into perspective here. American alligators never stop growing. Fuck. They they just keep going until they die. It's <laughs> they just keep going. It's, it's usually they they starve to death because they get so big that their yeah. body cannot be fed. Exactly. Also just putting into perspective, any fucking alligator uh <laughs> blessed by any chaos god would be fucking horrifying and I honestly can't tell which one would be worse. <laughs> Oh. That's the that's the, that's the new that's the new fifth chaos god that Games Workshop is releasing. <laughs> it's it's the alligator chaos god. Malice is just an alligator. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an alligator. You know how like at the end of Arcs of Omen, Bellacor just fucking shows up and ruins Vashtor's day. <laughs> it, at, at, at the next novel, it's going to be Bellacor about to ascend, but then an alligator comes out of the fucking warp and death rolls him. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not. It's not a chaos alligator yet. It's just a normal alligator. <laughs> And from that act, the Chaos Gods in Union go, yeah, that's pretty fucking sick. And like, go ahead, <laughs> Demon Prince Alligator. I feel like I need a Chaos Champion of sorts that has like a Chaos Alligator familiar now. Or something like that. There's a Seraphon Kitbash in here somewhere. I know it. The Alligator Marines. The Alligator Marines. It's the, um, the East Coast equivalent of the fucking Kacharadons. <laughs> Get the rivals of the Carcharodons. Oh my god. <laughs> the Astral Gators. The Astral Gators. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. There's gotta be some fucking American football team or basketball team uh, that, with gators at the end that is literally just a Space Marine chapter waiting to happen. I, I'm unsure. I don't follow sports. <laughs> oh, you can do worse. Yeah, it could be into Warhammer. Oh, fuck, wait. <laughs> Shall we talk about corn? Yeah, we got a little bit off topic there. <laughs> it's, no, it's a fine. little bit. It's fine. <laughs> we All don't right, have Aaron so... to stop us, so... <laughs> no, exactly. This will continue on until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There is one very obvious pro to worshipping corn. Mm -hmm. And that is... if You get buff. Yeah, you get ripped. Instant ripped. You get fucking shredded. Corn yeah. gives you a rigid workout routine of just, <laughs> you know, nothing but strength training. He gives you the the warp roids, man. Yeah, that's what you get a gym. You get a free gym membership. That's what you get. That's that, that that's the fucking pro. Oh it's my a free God. gym membership. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. You guys have seen like bits of Dragon Ball, right? You know what the hyperbolic time chamber is, yeah? I've seen all of Dragon yeah. Ball. What are you talking about? So, so that's the hyperbol the hyperbolic time chamber is literally just the realm of corn you you will start worshiping corn <laughs> and you get teleported into the hyperbolic time chamber and it's literally just filled with gym equipment beyond the horizon <laughs> and corn's just this fucking buff gym bro who just hands you a fucking protein shake and some warp infused tren and, <laughs> and, and points you towards a fucking Blood letter, who's actually a fucking personal trainer. He has like a, it has like the white tank top tee on it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I make you lift some fucking dumbbells that scream at you. It's uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they, and they and they and they bite you if you don't manage your whole set. <laughs> yeah, all the weights are made out of fucking like Slaneshi worshippers. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Demons of Corn would be the best gym hype men ever. Oh, for sure. Have you seen sure. the fucking thighs on Bloodthirsters, guys? Yeah. Those Holy those shit. guys those guys bench buildings on leg day. They don't miss. <laughs> just I can only imagine just like flexing in the mirror for like a second after a day, and then the fucking bloodthirster comes out and screams, "Nice gains, bro!" and just fucking <laughs> slaps you so hard it fucking like sends you flying and breaks all your bones. <laughs> oh man, bloodthirster gym bro, couldn't you couldn't ask for a better gym bro, really? Oh hell yeah, I, I'd fucking love that shit. Holy shit! Hold up. Have you seen those things on Instagram of like the guys where the gym owner owns like a staff Chibble terrier or something and the staff is allowed to just wander around the gym? <laughs> no. And in the, in the, wait, wait, in this case, the, the, the corn's fucking red gator <laughs> is just going around <laughs> monitoring everyone on the gym equipment. <laughs> if you're not, if you're not pushing yourself to your absolute limits while you're in the hyperbolic corn, uh, Center, or whatever the yeah. fuck you call, called it. <laughs> uh, the, the gator death rolls you, like right off the rack. Exactly. Exactly. It, 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 anyone who's taking a selfie in the mirror and not working out, <laughs> oh, yeah. a death roll. Then they get added to the rack. The gator is there to just watch out for fucking Instagram chicks who set their camera up and get pissed at you for walking <laughs> past their camera. The gator is literally just there to stop those people. Yeah, corn is uh, corn. Uh, oh no, Kabunga is at the fucking Kabunga. Uh, <laughs> is his name or whatever the fuck that demon's name is? <laughs> He's at the front desk, and there's a relatively like attractive gym lady that walks through, and Kabunga oh, goes so like, "Wait a Kabunga. second. <laughs> and then he, like he grabs like her face, rips it off. It's a Slaneshi demonette. He's just like, I got you. 
and just fucking oh. throws her out. Kabunga, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Kabunga, it's Kabunda's fucking super fucking chill extra hench cousin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's always wearing a white tank top oh. just covered in stains and shit. <laughs> but he's got a limitless supply of warp trend ready to go. <laughs> god oh. damn. Oh my god. Oh. Kabunga. I'm never going to forget Kabunga. that. That's the new name for Kabunda. He's just. All I'm thinking about is the fucking. Um... Oh fuck. You're going to beat the shit out of me. I forgot the name of the Orange Ninja Turtle. Michelangelo? <laughs> Michelangelo, yeah. All I'm thinking about is Michelangelo <laughs> and Kabunga in the gym. <laughs> really good friends. <laughs> Why is there a Ninja Turtle in the corn you... gym? <laughs> because uh... you said Kabunga, not Kabunga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, what, are the, what are the cons of worshipping corn? You get really angry at the slightest inconvenience. Yes. I already do that, so... I was like, about to say, yeah, I know plenty of people who are living with that anyway. There's only <laughs> pros for you, man. I'll be honest, Red. During that entire time, while you were tiring your story, just because you said Kabunda, I, I like, fucking couldn't focus at all on what the fuck you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's fine. I'm going to have to listen to it in the recording. And <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So there's so we've established there's no, there's no cons to worshipping corn. Besides getting really earth-shattering fuck-ass mad all the time. <laughs> the, 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 depending on how... I mean, depending on how you see this, I wrote this as a pro, but uh, I, I I imagine that you have constantly metal music streamed oh, yeah. directly the Doom to soundtrack. your brain. Yeah, it's just... The, <laughs> it's just the, the, you know, those butcher snails? You, you've, the, those, are, those aren't just digging, lobotomizing you slowly. They're, they're also... They're just sending Spotify streams directly into your fucking <laughs> cranium. It's just, you literally, you, every time you close your eyes, all you can see and hear is Marduk just on perpetually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Just, if you ever have a moment of silence, you'll have a hallucination of Varg Vikerns ready to fucking slap you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there's a... There's, I imagine there's also a fuck ton of Swedish uh, Viking metal. Oh, yeah. Amon Amarth is playing live in the corn gym 24-7. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Literally every every dead metal musician is just there in the hyperbolic corn gym. Just forever playing. Pro probably at, on every eighth day, everyone gets to take a cheat day, and their cheat day is that corn opens a portal to real space, and you all go and just murder everything that's, that's out, it. outside that portal. That's it. That, that eighth day is all the times that corn demons and worshippers of corn appear. That's it. The, that's, that's just the eighth day happening over and over again. Every The other seven days, they're just chilling. You know, <laughs> lifting possessed weights, listening to black metal, and getting roided to fuck. Oh, I just remembered a positive trend. to corn, depending on you, how people feel about the concept of Valhalla. Okay. Okay, so in Age of Sigmar, um, what if you die to like while you're fighting corn demons, right? And you stand your ground, corn will just like even if you like die instantly, like. But if you swing and like face down the horde of red demons, right? Regardless of if you actually fought well or not, Corn will just take your soul, plop you in front of his brass citadel, and say, "All right, man, have have the time of your life." And then it's just Valhalla, where everyone like fights, kills, and Corn <laughs> revives everybody, and everyone has a great day about it. Corn's, Holy shit! He's yeah, not he just even does, he bad. just does that in Age of Sigmar. He doesn't matter who your soul was devoted to before. He's just like that one. That one's mine now. He's honestly just a good dude. He's honestly, oh, that's you know, fucking he's lowly. A, well, Korn also did, is supposed to be the embodiment of like honesty and truth, so you know, yeah. he's not lying to you. There's no fucking around. He's just, you know, adhere to your impulses, get shredded, pet the crocodile, and fuck <coughs> shit up. <coughs> you know, and listen to heavy ass fucking tunes. Mean, in yeah. the meantime, don't. Don't don't be vainglorious. Be humble. Work on yourself. Go kill yeah. somebody. <laughs> Take your neighbor's Holy head. Shit. Yeah, kill cowards. Get shredded. 
Kill <laughs> Cameron's getting shredded. <laughs> Oh, when that, is that? That's when be on when the are we? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be on the t-shirt. Whatever we do, fucking merch. Kill oh, cowards, God. get shredded. That's literally the first fucking line of Astartes Anonymous merch. Someone, don't let me forget about this moment. I'm getting that on a shirt. I swear to God. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah that's oh. great. I love corn. Honestly, no he's just negatives. A good fucking dude. No negatives just, at all. He, He's a solid man. Time to start worshiping. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Literally, the worst, the worst thing about Corn is that he's fucking honest with you. Yeah. That's it. It's just better. It just gets better from there. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. There, there's no beating around the bush with Corn. There's just beating you to death. <laughs> oh, right. Shall we have a look at Slanesh? Excellent. I actually have a okay. great. I actually Let's have a go great over argument. The... Oh, oh, far away. You, you go ahead. Okay. By the by, the idea of what Slanesh is, I think there are no true negatives. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So Slanesh is so, so Slanesh is supposed to be both pleasure and pain, right? Yeah. So you get into Slanesh because of the pleasure, and then it starts getting really weird into the pain center. But because but Slanesh is all about heightening your senses, and over time, Slaneshi worshippers start to like fuse pain and pleasure together. And at one point, you probably just plateau where you're so smacked out of your mind, like it feels like the same thing. Oh. So you don't feel like either one. So hold up. You know, in Hellraiser, the Xenobites are essentially birthed of this kind of very non Euclidean, almost Lovecraftian kind of god entity. Yeah. That shit is Leviathan. just Slanesh. Exactly. It's just fucking Slanesh, bro. Yeah. There is one con to Slanesh off the top of my head, though, that I, I can I can know. And it's not a material con. It's kind of, you're always seeking the next bump. You're always seeking the next high. And it kind of gets to the point where unless you have ulterior motives, like someone like Fabius Bile, you're never going to be able to reach that next high. It's just all, it's the next high is always just out of reach because you're... Don't people do that today? Just normal day-to-day -day lives? Yes, but I can imagine that if you're worshipping uh, Slanesh, you're fucking banned from overdosing. You just can't. <laughs> you know, you just you just can't OD. You know, you can put as much of that white powder up your nose as you like, but, like, you're not going to die. You're just going to keep going, you know? There is no upper limit, guys. Time to do all the coke. <laughs> I, I think there's it's one like con, and uh, I mean, this might sound weird, but I, I'll i say, as a con, unrelenting libido. 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 I mean, libido, Le yeah. Libido. Le libido. Le libido is that, is that Kabunga's friend. I don't know. Libido. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Fuck. his mortal enemy. Uh, it's, fu it's fucking warm here in Sweden, man. I have My brain is fucking melting, okay? What is it? Like... <laughs> What, uh, <laughs> one degree higher than 60 degrees Fahrenheit? The fuck? Oh, yeah, it's it's like two degrees here. So, no, I'm just kidding. It's uh, fucking, uh, it's been uh, nearing 30 degrees here. Uh, that's, in Cel that's in Celsius, by the way. That's not, 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 th that's not, not a real measurement. measurement. That's not, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> not that made up shit. Anyways. Uh, anyways, uh, so, okay, because, I mean, sure, you, you want to have sex all the time, but you, s look at it this way. You're basically, you have such a high uh, libido that you're basically blue-balling yourself. At oh, all yeah, so, perpetual blue balls. Yeah. Oh, perma blue the, balls. But hold up, per hold up. Blue balls. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> yeah. Two things. First off, uh -huh. some dudes are into that. That's where fucking the CBT comes from. Secondly, if we swing back around to Red's point, initially, eventually that's just going to become a pro for you. Eventually, the fact that your balls are bursting at the seams <laughs> is going to be like, yes, oh, I like no. this. My nuts are literally blue. They are swollen, but I'm having a good time because I worship Slanet. <laughs> exactly. That's where that's going. That's where that's going. Yeah, man. you know what? Okay, that's a fair point. I retract my statement. <laughs> so far, two of the four Chaos Gods are just good. I'm, I'm starting to understand how how and why so many people fall to chaos in both settings. <laughs> the, 
this is just a fucking you know <laughs> this is some propaganda for chaos yeah. right here that's what we're up to on top of that with slanesh you get sex so you don't get that yeah. with nurgle i mean you don't want sex with no you don't you don't want that with <laughs> nurgle <laughs> um. <laughs> i think i think if no i'm not going to think about sex and nurgle in the same sentence or paragraph thanks. that sounds like pain <sighs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, we've we've already talked about this in our uh, Primarchs After Dark video. We know how that goes. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, you, you come out with a word. Okay, it's <laughs> yeah. it's it's not our great. I, our st uh, our sti's or stds uh, a slaneshi thing or a nurgle thing. I, this, this is an interesting. Oh. So, oh. I, I've, I've had I've had this question. Uh, asked me on a fucking uh, 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 at one point and I my argument is that that's a Nurgle thing because so here I believe that Slaneshi worshippers are extremely clean I like because I mean th they're all about pleasure right so I mean not the ones with a scat fetish you, you off to a good I believe it's a Nurgle thing as well but not for whatever reason you're about to make because I doubt sincerely that Slaneshi worshippers are clean no I don't know I, I think they they would take good care of themselves they, they would make sure that uh, you know I mean it's about being pristine and perfect right I mean, I mean the, uh, the same argument can be said with strippers and hookers but chlamydia is still a thing yeah but they but, a point. they but they are wor Nurgle worshippers they're not Slaneshi worshippers. Are you telling me the the strippers are Nurgle worshippers? Yeah. yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, if 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 they're done with the sickness, then they're Nurgle worshippers. I think your innocent Swedish mind is forgetting about all the insanely fucked up fetishes that exist in the world today. Let alone in the fucking warp. I think that uh, the idea of something along the lines of I don't know. What's a fucked up skull fucking? I imagine that happens pretty fucking regularly in the realm of Slanesh, and that don't strike me as a particularly sanitary endeavor. Is skull fucking a corn thing <sighs> or a Slanesh thing? <laughs> I, I think I've, you, oh. you, you know what? No, no, you know what? Now we're on to an, an interesting uh, topic here because I, I, I argue that there's an overlap. That That thing right there, that's an overlap. Fucking hookers with chlamydia, that's an overlap. <laughs> that's Wait. So that's Lanesh and Nurgle. But and skull fucking is Lanesh and Corn. Alright, all right. real quick, if any of our viewers are strippers uh, or or prostitute with chlamydia, are you a Nurgle worshipper or a Slanesh worshipper? Well, I think I think that's it though. I think we've established that sex workers are chaos undivided. Yeah. Holy shit. And all in an all-inclusive fucking uh, profession for Chaos Undivided. Yeah. <laughs> and we've established as well that technically there's nothing wrong with that. Because Korn is a fucking great guy and Slash just wants to have fun. She's literally that Tina Turner song. You know? Slash just wants to have fun and Korn just wants to get ripped and be honest. That sounds... That that sounds great. You know, by exclusion, Nurgle's getting shredded right now. I'd say Zinch too, but we haven't got there yet. <laughs> you know, actually, and with that, let's talk about Zinch. There's one, I want, I want to open with one con for Zinch. Yeah. You get turned to dust. He is the only one of the Chaos Gods that will actively fuck with you for worshipping him. He even fucks with his own greater demons. This guy does not give a fuck about you at all. He, he threw Chaos Fate Weaver into a black hole in the warp <laughs> just to see what would happen because because he wasn't gonna fucking he couldn't be fucking arsed to go down there himself <laughs> ah, there's this giant burning vortex in my realm that not even I know I have nothing but this lord of change here Lord Siege what are you doing come here you little fucking chicken <laughs> five minutes later he pops there's like oh fuck you have two heads now <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh. Holy shit! Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get corn in there. Maybe he'll get two heads. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> what what kind of pro? I mean, there's one very obvious pro of worshiping Zeech, and that's before the pro. I like to think that Zeech doesn't actually do anything himself. It's all the fucking well of eternity that's in his realm, just spewing out bullshit, <laughs> and he gets blamed for it. 
Yeah. Because all honestly. he's doing is throwing things inside <laughs> there to see what happens. <laughs> Throws shit and sees what sticks. <laughs> I suspect with Zinch, like, the biggest pro is probably just the notion that you can use magic. You become part of the Shadow Wizard money gang. Hell yeah. I think, I mean, the most obvious pro there is you just get a massive big brain. Like You, you become your, your mega brain, mind. Your brain becomes so wrinkled. It's uh, like... Uh, that that you, low you... jack brain chair. Exactly. <laughs> 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 jack brain chair. <laughs> low jack status. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, I mean, you, it, it, it's just a. I mean, you, you, you just got so fucking smart. I mean, you no one could ever get the fucking drop on you. But you'll you get so but smart. But on top of that, that Magnus Carlson accuses you of cheating with vibrating anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! LMAO. Oh, I thought that drama had died. Thanks for bringing it back. Holy shit. <laughs> I've forgotten the guy's name. But just for context, anyone who doesn't know about that, essentially a huge, huge chess uh, scandal. Uh, maybe it wasn't that huge, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go with it anyway. A while back, there was a competitor that Magnus Carlsen, who is, isn't he? He is the best chess player in the world, right? At this moment in time. Yeah, he's the chess grandmaster, major dominus, or the fuck stupid name <laughs> the chess community has for him. Essentially, fucking Magnus, nerds. Magnus Carlson played a game against this dude who was a up and coming chess fella, who, if I recall correctly, had like previously been caught in cheating scandals, and he beat Magnus Carlson in a way that was very similar to like playing Stockfish. And Stockfish, if you don't know, is the, is the strongest chess AI. And people couldn't work out how he did it. And so the assumption is that this man has vibrating anal beads up his asshole, sending him Morse code signals to tell him <laughs> how to play the game. <laughs> the, see, that's so fucking... Uh, okay, so we, we just said that uh, you, you'd have to be zinged to uh, beat that, but that's some fucking Slaneshi bullshit right there. No, that's some fucking... no, no. Chess players are chaos undivided because it's Zinch <laughs> and Slanesh. Ah, That's of course. Both of them. I love how all these overlaps are just something <laughs> and Slanesh. Well, no, <laughs> these, they never prove that he cheated, so this could all be conjecture. <laughs> yeah, that's just that just makes it more Zinch. Yeah, yeah actually, chess players yeah. are just Zinch fucking worshippers. <laughs> Did I use anal beads? I don't no. know. <laughs> Was it a fair fight? Who knows? I, I I made you think about it. Now you'll never unthink about it. <laughs> that that's why he couldn't beat him because fucking uh, Magnus just was just thinking of uh, anal beads in his opponent's ass and he just. <laughs> oh my god! I just realized that Magnus Carlson is. With Magnus. Yeah, exactly. Well, Magnus the Red. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's same fucking energy. <laughs> oh, salty and red faced because he didn't think to put anal beads up his ass first. <laughs> and and gets fucked by his patron deity. Yep, makes sense. Checks when out. When Magnus when Magnus bursts through the eternity gate as a warp specter to warn his father of Horace's <laughs> imminent use of anal beads to <laughs> rebel against him. Oh, I thought the cake in part two. It's oh, just God. it's just Magnus and Lehman mm, sat across a chess no. table with some visible <laughs> anal beads coming out of Lehman's ass, and he's about ah, to check. No, it's not that visible. His ass is just vibrating very viciously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His ass is just vibrating. The chair is vibrating too. This is this <laughs> It's just a space wolf standing oh, behind him, wide-eyed and scared. That's so cursed. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh. Oh. Do you imagine this is the kind of shit that Bjorn the Fell-Handed wakes up to tell the space wolves about? One time, one time father put these anal beads up his ass to defeat the great demon Magnus. It was funny as fuck, I swear. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. The funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I hate the okay, space so, wolves. So we talked about the pros, but of Zinch, but so what are the 
Cons. You get <laughs> beaten by a dude with anal beads in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> The cons are he fucks with you perpetually because Zinch is a fucking yeah. dickhead. Like, he's literally just a fucking kid with a magnifying glass and everybody else is ants. Yeah, exactly. And if you fucking displease him, he'll just fucking give... He'll, he'll just turn you into a fucking chaos spawn or he'll just give you fucking cancer, which yep. I can relate to. So, fucking he shit. He doesn't even displease him. He might just shit, fucking man. do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like he rolls the dice on your life every single day when he wakes up and just to see, will he be exploding today? Uh, he, he fucking rolls the dice while he's asleep as well. <laughs> so you're on like the you're like on a perpetual wheel of fortune with Zeke, but it's all just different ways to fuck with you whenever it lands. Wait, holy shit! Does that does that mean that Aaron actually isn't? A Nurgle worshiper. He's a scene worshiper. No, he, because he, he every time every time we record, he spins the wheel of fate and uh, sees no, what he no, lands no. on. I think, I think that's literally <laughs> Zinch spinning a wheel. Yeah, that, that just proves that no one is safe, not even other chaos <laughs> worshippers. <laughs> yeah, I mean Zinch's whole thing is fucking with the other chaos gods and their uh, acolytes and all. You know that makes perfect sense. Zinch has no real goals. He just wants to fuck with you. So can we? I'm going to make a list. In order of best to worst, Slanesh, Corn, Nurgle, Zinch. <sighs> no, I, would, I, I, would put, I, I don't I, know. I think I would, I would, I would switch corn. places with yeah. Zinch and Nurgle, but uh, I guess that's personal bias. But just because I, I I like Zinch and I think Nurgle is cringe, but uh, that's fair. Nurgle I mean, at least with cringe. at least with Zinch, you um. You have to wipe your ass. Yeah. <laughs> At least with Zinch, you can wipe your own ass. <laughs> fu 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 fucking Z Zinch is b b born to ship shit forced to wipe. Nurgle is just b b born to shit. <laughs> <laughs> So this, uh, the lineup for the, the, close, the, the future, the, the future merch <laughs> is we're gonna have kill cowards get uh, what was it? Get get shredded. Kill cowards get shredded. Get, kill cowards get shredded, and then we have the second shirt, which is just born to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's literally, there's literally. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, there's literally a Plague Marine model that has an asshole on its armor. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's literally born to shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Let's bring this to an end here, gentlemen. Holy fuck. Oh Jesus Christ, are we ending an episode without someone getting flayed? No, no, they are still getting flayed. Oh no. Yeah, oh, fuck you, Moots, you is piece it of shit. Is because of the Bionicles thing? Yeah, yeah it's because of the Bionicles <laughs> thing. You fucking dare challenge me? You motherfucker! You fucking <laughs> sweet! They're coming these knocks! Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're enjoying the podcast, please consider liking and subscribing, and maybe hitting the bell icon to be notified of future content. You can get in touch with myself, and the other members of the team by joining our Discord or other social medias, all linked below. Thanks for watching.